good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i feel like it's been a couple of days since i spoke to you guys since i vlogged you would have obviously my last video was a zara haul which if you haven't watched that video already i honestly think that's probably one of my favorite zara hauls i've ever done which i always feel like is such a bold statement because i've done a lot of zara hauls but there are some really really gorgeous pieces in that video so make sure to go and check that out but i wanted to start the video by saying good morning I'm just currently having my morning coffee and getting myself ready for the day. So we're going to be jumping straight into this and I can show you what I've been buying recently, what I've been picking up recently. You guys know I have been getting myself ready for spring in lots of different ways. Been getting my home ready, been getting my wardrobe ready and I'm also wanting to get some like more aspects of my life ready for spring. So I thought I would show you what I've been buying this week, what I've been picking up recently and what I've been adding into my collection. Now I'm going to start with an accessory. Now I feel like this is an item that everyone needs in their spring wardrobe and I really am wanting to kind of like build on this collection a little bit because I feel like I have a very curated collection of these and I am wanting to kind of branch out a little bit, try a few different styles, try a few different kind of like variations and that is sunglasses and I feel like sunglasses are so so important when it comes to spring because obviously it is going to be getting a little bit sunnier. So I picked up a new pair of sunglasses from Key. Now, I've never actually shopped at Key before, but I've heard some really, really good things about them. And I've been wanting to pick up a pair of this kind of style of sunglasses. It's like a very retro, a little bit 70s, where they're kind of like a rounded shape. And I am trying these on for the first time with you guys. So what do we think of the new sunnies? I feel like this more rounded shape kind of suits my face. I've definitely got quite a rounded face and that's something that I have completely come to terms with. That is just my face shape. And I feel like square sunglasses maybe don't quite suit me as much. I feel like rounded shapes always look a little bit more flattering. So I really, really like these. They've got the big key on the side and I've seen quite a few different designers doing these kinds of sunglasses. And you guys know what I say when it comes to trying something new or like experimenting or going for a new kind of style i never like to invest in the big big ticket items straight away and key i feel like are a really good kind of like in between brand like they're not too expensive but they are really really nice quality so i feel like they're a really nice brand to invest in and a really nice one to add into your collection so i will link down below to key they have some really really gorgeous sunglasses in their like new spring summer range i feel like they really are bringing out some really cool styles so i definitely think I am impressed with the quality. These feel really, really sturdy. Like, I really like how they feel and how they look on my face. And I think they're going to last me a really long time. So, 10 out of 10 for those sunglasses from Key. I am absolutely in love with them. Now, next up to show you, I have been picking up some bits from Drunk Elephant. Which, you guys know, I'm going through such a skin journey at the moment. And I feel like I really am getting through the other side of it. If you haven't watched some of my recent videos, you might not know. But when I came back from Spain, I had such bad breakouts. I went and got a facial. I've been really upping my skincare routine and just really taking it seriously. And I feel like it really is helping. And I've heard some really, really good things about Drunk Elephant as a brand. So I wanted to try out a few pieces. So I picked up a lot of items here and i just want to say that this is like the perfect makeup bag to go away with because i love the fact that you can kind of see through it i feel like i'm definitely going to take this with me when i go skiing which i have already told you i'm pretty sure i feel like this sunglasses is going to be really good as well actually i actually can really picture myself sitting on the side of the mountains with a glass of wine in hand watching the rest of the skiers go down as we're starting our apre with the sunglasses on bobble hat gloves living my best life so yes and i'm gonna be deciding from this what i like take with me skiing as well because obviously i'm gonna be wanting to take some things with me to really look after my skin because i am very aware that the cold weather skiing is not great for your skin like it's not gonna be something that's gonna like help with my skin so i really am going to look after it so let's go through what's in here because there's lots of beauty things to update you on so first of all we have the multivitamin eye cream firm and brightening i really really like the sound of this it's a rich restorative eye cream featuring a brightening combination of eye peptides five forms of vitamin c and cucumber extract for firmer stronger looking skin around the eyes now i really have been trying lots of new eye creams at the moment and i've been really enjoying experimenting more with them i used to purely stick to the clinique eye serum but 
recently I've been trying quite a few different others so that sounds really really lovely we then have the luxury face oil and actually one thing that I'm really doing at the moment is taking my I can never pronounce it. is it gua sha gua sha you know the kind of like you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I've been taking that a lot more seriously and I've been really enjoying doing one skincare when I'm ready to take off my makeup at the end of the working day and then another skincare a little bit later where I really oil up my face and use the Gua Sha to really kind of like firm my skin, help in terms of like just the flow, the blood flow that's going through it. I don't necessarily know if it does slim down your face but I've been really, really enjoying it. So. I love the sound of this because it really will help with my gua sha and I think it's a really nice way just to like, I think two skincare routines are a little bit extra but I think it's a really nice way to differentiate that kind of just like, right I'm switching from work now and this is my like evening quite simple makeup off skincare routine and then later it's like right this is the deep penetrative really strong skincare routine for when I sleep at night, I really love doing that. We then have a little lip balm, which will really come in handy when I go away because I feel like keeping a lip balm on you, oh my God, is so important because your lips get so, so dry. I love the packaging of this. It's just like really super simple, quite basic, I don't want to say. Yeah, a little bit basic, but super cute. So I think that's really, really nice. We then have the Be Hydra Intense Hydration Serum. This is something, again, I'm really going to need on the slopes because your skin just gets so, so dry. And I feel like I'm really going to need anything that can kind of just like give my skin a drink. This is, it's like a cool drink of water for thirsty skin. The Ultra Hydrating Serum replenishes the complexion and improves the look of skin's texture and tone. So that sounds really, really great. Oh my gosh, there's honestly so much in here. Right, next we have a night serum. This is the TLC Fambus Glycolic Night Serum, which I've never tried before, but it says it's 10% AHA, 1% BHA, raspberry extract, pH 3.5. Very interesting. I've definitely heard of AHAs and stuff before, so this will be something that I am going to have to look into a little bit. It says a high take... A high-tech AHA BHA gel that resurfaces dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells. Okay, this kind of sounds to me almost like it's a bit of an exfoliation serum. Maybe do your own research. I am in no way an expert, but that sounds lovely. We then have a resurfacing serum, which has 10% lactic acid and 11 signal peptides. I think I'm now starting to understand why all of the, like, really good with their skin skincare influences like real cool girl the kind of girls that like spend eight hours on their skincare love drunk elephant because they sound like they have some really really good products that are like a little bit more techy than i'm kind of used to but we can learn about them together next we have an electrolyte water facial mask now this sounds really good because this is something that actually the facialist did tell me that i need to look into more is my exfoliation and then masking afterwards she said that i'm not masking enough and that will really help in terms of just balancing the kind of hydration with not too much oil making sure that i'm not congested but i am still really like glowy skin so i really like the sound of that Next up, we have a Sakura Baby Facial. This next generation mask is an at-home facial that effectively yet gently exfoliates the pore lining and resurfacing by getting rid of build-up dead skin cells. With a whopping 25% AHA, 2% BHA blend of our dream team of glycolic, tartaric, lactic, citric, and salicylic acids. Basically, it sounds like a massive concoction of products, formulas, chemicals that will kind of do what a facial will do so i quite like the sound of that i definitely think this is one that you want to read up a lot about a little bit check with your skin and stuff like that but if maybe a facial is something out of your price range or you just don't have the time this might be a really great alternative to that so i love the sound of that next up we have the lala retro whipped cream creme fute rescue and recover eight african oils and ceramides a multi-faceted rescue cream infused with six African oils and a plant ceramide complex provides replenishing barriers brought by reinforcing skin's acid mantle and defending against the effects of everyday stressors. Love the sound of that. I feel like for me that's probably going to be more of like a night cream because it sounds a little bit thick and I quite like my day creams to be a little bit less thick. I wonder if this is going to be more of a day cream. I think it is. Polypeptide cream, strengthen and moisturize, nine signal peptides. 
yeah this definitely sounds like this is going to be more of a day cream so i guess that's really handy you've got the night cream and the day cream right there we then have a sea firma fresh day serum another serum that honestly i can't believe how many things are in this box this sounds absolutely amazing i love the sound of that as well and then lastly we're finally on to i'm like dropping things around me we're finally on to the last product which is a jelly cleanser I don't tend to go for jelly cleansers. This will be really, really interesting to try, but it's a innovative, innovative jelly cleanser that removes all traces of makeup, excess oil, pollution, and any other grime from the day. With a unique blend of mild surfactants and makeup dissolving emollients, this gentle formula rinses away without an ounce of residue, leaving skin clean and soft. Free of SLS, which I do believe is something I've seen Caroline Hiron saying that you don't want SLS. But we have SLS, fragrance and essential oils. Love the sound of that as well. So honestly, so many gorgeous things in here that I'm so excited to try and that are gonna just really help me continue along my skin journey, gonna help me continue along my kind of like process to getting my skin the best that it has ever been. And I really do think I am just taking skincare so much more seriously at the moment. So let me know if you want maybe like a bit of an updated skincare routine, something like that to show you like exactly what I'm using it, how I'm using it, because I definitely think these products are going to help me and I just can't believe how kind of like techy they are. So I'm definitely going to be doing a little bit of research, discussing with a few skincare babes that I know who really know what they're talking about. Maybe checking in my Caroline Hirons book, what is going to kind of help with my skin directly but so many gorgeous products so i will link to drunk elephant down below if you want to pick up some new skincare bits and then lastly i feel like the thing we've all been waiting for is a few new and pieces from h&m now i actually popped by h&m the other day with no intention of buying anything and just a quick little psa if anyone is looking for it the book tote is currently available in loads of stores so i'm pretty sure it's sold out online i will link it down below if you are wanting to shop it because sometimes it does come back from like returns or things like that um or they maybe like restock the warehouses with it i will link it down below in case you want to bookmark it but it is available in quite a few stores at the moment so go and check out your local store if you are wanting to pick it up and get your hands on it it's such a gorgeous tote i've had loads of questions about what i use it for and i mainly use it as like a work bag but it also makes a really good like overnight bag a really good shopper bag it's just a really really versatile gorgeous gorgeous item and also a great travel bag as well because it just sits at the top of your suitcase really nicely and obviously it's very dior inspired so i absolutely love it to show you what i picked up on this trip i am so so in love with this it's this stunning silky pink shirt and you guys know how obsessed i am with pink at the moment it is just my favorite color i've said it once and i'll say again i'm calling it as the color of the season i feel like it's going to be huge this season i've already seen quite a few retailers really embracing color at the moment but one of the kind of like key focus colors really is pink whether that's hot pink baby pink blush pink peachy pink there are so many different shades and i am just obsessed with that at the moment so when i saw this gorgeous shirt i just knew i needed to get my hands on it now in terms of fabric it is 62% recycled polyester so very like obviously not natural materials however I don't always think that's a bad thing when it comes to these kinds of shirts especially because in springtime it's not too hot you don't need something like overly overly breathable and natural and it will hopefully mean that it creases a lot less I obviously brought these home in the bag and I don't have any creases in this now I picked this up in a large because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized and I feel like these kinds of shirts are just key in a spring wardrobe i absolutely adore styling them up for spring i feel like paired with skirts paired with jeans paired with trousers you can style them up you can style them down these are really key staple capsule wardrobe items and i absolutely love them for that and i just adore the color of this i feel like this is going to look so gorgeous start up with blue denim start up with white denim start up with trousers start up with skirts i'm so so excited to start styling this up for spring i'm just obsessed with it and then because you know what i'm like i'm an absolute granny when it comes to items that i really really like i picked it up in another color now if you watched my zara haul you'll know that i was looking for like the perfect white silky shirt i really loved that linen one that i picked up but i just felt like it wasn't quite what i was looking for for spring i feel like linen for me is much more of like a summer item i'm sorry if this is making the camera go very weird because it's very white right now but i feel like linen is much more of a summer 
Burma colour and this kind of like silky satiny fabric is a bit more springtime for me and I really was missing like a satin white shirt from my wardrobe so when I saw this I just knew I had to pick it up and I believe yep I got it in a large as well and it was exactly the same and actually these shirts were so super affordable they are 12 99 each which I just thought was such a great price point especially for something that's going to last a really really long time in your wardrobe the kind of thing you're going to get a lot of cost per wear out of I love styling these kinds of shirts in so many different ways as I said I'll start them with jeans or skirts you can style them down with like jumpers over the top if it's a little bit chilly you can style it up with leather trousers and heels if you're wanting a bit more of an evening look so I feel like these are really versatile key items to have in your spring wardrobe and I'm so so in love with them oh my goodness how blooming stunning is this shirt so I've just put it on with a pair of white jeans and I think the way that I would style this up is like the white jeans maybe a pair of little white trainers and either my coach tabby or I actually think my sac de jour might go with this outfit yeah I actually think it really goes because you've got the kind of like different tones going on you've got the real like warmth of the bag the kind of cooler tone of the pink you've got the white I really really love how these go together I think they look so so gorgeous and I absolutely adore the fit of these they are very very loose I'm glad I went for a large I think I probably could have gone for a medium if I didn't want it to be like so oversized and baggy but I really wanted that oversized look I wanted it to be super loose super casual uh the kind of thing that I can you know wear like this or if I wanted to I could tuck in I could belt in the middle I could wear half in half out I feel like there's so many different ways to wear this and in terms of just styling I'd probably like roll up the sleeves and just kind of like loosen it up a little bit and make it a little bit more like worn I feel like having full sleeves on a silk shirt is almost a little bit too formal for me but I just adore the way that it falls the way that it sits I think it's absolutely stunning and the colour is just amazing I've never seen a pink shirt like this on the high street so so in love with this one I think this is such a cute item to add into your spring wardrobe oh my goodness and the white is just as gorgeous as well I love this so I start this up with blue jeans and I just love how different the vibe is from the pink and white to the white and blue I feel like it's such a different look again I probably style this up with white trainers I think the sac de jour probably wouldn't go with this but actually a lot of my bags would maybe my Louis Vuitton maybe my Mulberry I could even wear like black boots and style it up with a black bag or oh, actually do you know what would look really cute this oh my god I love this this is a proper like casual workwear kind of outfit I absolutely adore that Again, such a gorgeous like oversized fit on this. Now in terms of how see-through it is, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. I'm currently just wearing a nude bra and you can't see the bra at all. The only thing you can see, as you can see here, is slightly my jeans through it, but that's not something that bothers me because as long as you can't see my underwear, I feel like that's all that really matters. So yeah, really, really love this. Again, I'd wear it like tucked in, do a half tuck in, tuck out. I think if I was to wear it more of an evening wear, I'd probably tuck it in. If I was to wear it more daytime, I would just wear it loose like this and roll up the sleeves. I think it's such a cool spring item and the kind of thing that like you can style up in so many different ways. I love these shirts so, so much. I think they had them a few different colours as well. So if they do, I will link them down below. Make sure to check out the description box for what colours they have in these because I would definitely recommend picking up one in every single colour. <laughs> And then also, just to quickly show you today's outfit of the day, I'm actually just wearing a cute little jumper dress. I absolutely adore this one. This is a, I want to say warehouse, either warehouse or oasis. I think warehouse. Gorgeous, gorgeous cable knit jumper dress. H&M have always done quite similar ones to this, so I will link a few different options down below, but I really, really love it. And I've just belted it with my... Amazon at fashion belt this is honestly just the biggest steal when it comes to a belt that looks so much more expensive than it is and I really love it start up with these kind of jumper dresses just to kind of cinch in the waist a little bit highlight that like silhouette but still be super casual super comfy I really really love it I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to be saying goodbye to my jumper dresses especially because in British springtime we've been having some really really weird weather in the sense of like one day you are wearing a t-shirt and jeans the next day you're reaching for your cable knits again so I'm really unsure when I want to do my wardrobe switch over because I feel like I am already starting to reach for a lot of spring items I'm starting to style up a lot of spring kind of pieces but at the same time I'm not ready to say goodbye to my chunky knits my layers of my wintry items so maybe mid-March time would be a good time I feel like my wardrobe is bulging at the moment because I really do have like a huge mix of still reaching for some wintry items but at the same time I'm wanting some spring items but 
unfortunately it's just not quite the time to do the switch over but yeah love this jumper dress it's just my favorite one at the moment perfect when you want to be nice and cozy warm but the weather isn't quite cold enough for something really really thick i absolutely adore this dress so it's quite a while later now. I've basically just spent the entirety of my morning creating some new reels that might already be live on my Instagram by now. I am starting to do the petite girl guides again. I was talking at the weekend with you guys on Instagram on my stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would definitely recommend that and make sure that you follow my stories because I do like a lot of kind of conversations with you. I chat to you guys a lot on stories and I always go there to ask for your like recommendations or you know opinions or advice or things like that. Um, so I went on stories and basically asked a few things that you guys want to see and a lot of you were saying about the petite girl guides and how useful they were so I basically put up a poll saying would you like me to bring the petite girl guides back and it was a resounding yes so I asked for you guys for some like items that you maybe struggle styling any particular kind of like you know styling things any particular jackets or blazers or things that you just really really struggle with as a petite girl and I had loads and loads of boxes filled it was in like a question box so I had so many from you guys but I did just want to say if there's any more that you can think of off the top of your head feel free to leave me a comment down below because I am creating lots of them at the moment for like spring styling, transitional styling, basically anything that I can think of that maybe can be a little bit tricky as a shorter girl I'm creating my guides for which are all reels on my Instagram so make sure to go and follow me there but basically because of all the styling and because of all the trans and because of all the outfits I'm creating my bedroom currently looks like this absolute tip i feel like my bedroom always ends like this because i don't want to like messy my office so i end up just chucking the clothes back here and then it's a case of you know a huge big <laughs> put away and sort out this is literally the state of my bedroom pretty much every day and as you can see we have a box over here of something that has just arrived i am so so excited about like this is probably one of the most exciting things that i'm adding into my spring wardrobe so plan of action now is just to blitz this room put everything away get it to a state where it is acceptable again and then we can unbox my new item right that is much better now a nice tidy room and we can unbox this bad boy right here now this is from a brand that you would have seen recently it wasn't all that long ago that i made my first order from them and a couple of you guys did say in the video that you would love to see more pieces start up by them you really love the brand you really love them as a kind of like styling items and you would love to see a few more and that is me and em and i did say in the video before i feel like me and em's probably not a brand that i will ever do like full hauls from because it obviously is a very premium price pointed brand however you guys know what i'm like when it comes to like key items in my wardrobe i love being able to invest in items that are really gonna last really gonna stand the test of time and i feel like me and em have a lot of items like that in their collection so i thought i would show you my new little purchase that i picked up from them when i bought um here comes the little dust bag how cute is that i love that i feel like that's gonna be really handy when it comes to traveling i don't think i really own like a suit not a dust bag a suit bag I love it so so cute obviously we've got the branding there so this is an item that i have been wanting to add into my collection for a really really long time and i did actually see a high street kind of version of this so i will link that down below if you are interested what have you got here this is just the the returns label um so i will link down below the high street version of this if you are interested and i was really owing and owing whether to go to the high street or the high end however i feel like this is just going to be an item that i I've kind of been okay with jumping to the high end because even though I don't have this exact item in my wardrobe I do have variations of this item that I wear so much and I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this so in the box we have the most stunning pinstripe suit that I have ever ever seen now I don't actually own any me and em blazers myself but I know a lot of people that do and they always come really, really highly recommended. Everyone that I know that has a me and M blazer has said that it's like the best blazer they have in their wardrobe. They absolutely adore it. And I've been wanting to add a pinstripe one into my collection for ages. It's going to be really tricky for you to see it because obviously the stripes are so fine. But pinstripe is a huge trend this year and I absolutely love it. And again, it's one of those trends that I think is more of like a classic trend. I know I've spoken about these a little bit before, but it's the kind of trend that basically comes back time and time again. And I feel like stripes, pinstripe, that kind of thing is so 
of spring vibes and I've definitely found myself reaching for the same kind of stripy jumpers and stripy numbers every single spring and I really have been missing a blazer like this from my wardrobe I'm absolutely in love with it now I picked it up in a 12 and it looks like it's going to be a little bit oversized but not too oversized which I quite like and from the feel of it it's got slight padding in the shoulders very slight I know some of you guys don't like padding but I feel like with a blazer it's kind of necessary otherwise it just makes a special oversized blazer look quite droopy and quite unflattering so I'm so excited to try this on and style this up because I feel like this is going to be one of those blazers that I just don't know what I did without before I owned it. It's going to be the kind of blazer that is going to last so, so long in my wardrobe. It's really going to stand the test of time and quality wise, it just feels absolutely beautiful. Now, this is exactly how I had planned on styling this up. I feel like I'm almost giving you a little bit of a, like a jeans collection in this video because I've been trying on so many different pairs of denim, but oh my word, this blazer is stunning. This is exactly how I wanted to style it up. I think maybe with white trainers or black boots, the pinstripe and then just like a white tee underneath it actually would also look really nice with the white shirt the silk shirt from H&M I can totally imagine that with this now in terms of sizing as I said I went for a 12 and it is a little bit fitted I'm kind of debating whether to go up to a 14 but then I don't want it to be too oversized I did want this one to be a little bit more of a formal blazer and a little bit more of like a fitted style so let me know your thoughts but just so that you can see the kind of pinstriping on it it is absolutely gorgeous and it fits really really nicely like on my shoulders as you can see it's got the slight ever so slight padding so it just kind of brings your shoulders out and really accentuates that feminine silhouette where you've got the shoulders and then the smaller waist and then out at the hips again I really like this this would also look really nice actually with dresses I've spoken about this a little bit before but when it comes to styling dresses up I would definitely recommend going for a more fitted blazer so I can actually really picture this with white blazers for summer not white blazers white dresses for summer I think that would look really cute but for now I really like this as an outfit and again styled with the sac du jour how gorgeous does this look this bag goes with so so much in my wardrobe I'm just loving styling up I was actually really worried at first when I got it that it wouldn't go with whites but I think because it is so beige next to the whites it doesn't look like white next to cream like it does look like a beigey color I really really love this as an outfit I've actually got a shoot day this week and I might just have to take Take this with me as an outfit to shoot because I just I love how this looks this is just so so me the me and M blazer gets a big tick of approval from me this is just so gorgeous I will link it down below and as I said I will be picking up the odd piece from me and M over the next I don't know however long I will be keeping an eye on their website and just adding in items that I think are really going to elevate my wardrobe serve well in my wardrobe and just help me out with my spring styling so let me know if there's anything that you like on me and M that maybe you want me to style up that you want to see um because they do have some really really gorgeous pieces so I will just link down below to me and M as well if you want to go and have a browse yourself if there's anything that you want to like upgrade in your wardrobe I would definitely definitely recommend it Okay, I've just got back from the dry cleaners now. I went and took my trench coat there the other day because I just felt like I had it for a while. I hadn't actually taken it to get cleaned, literally, I think, since I've owned it. And I've owned it for four years now. So that's actually kind of dreadful. Um, and I just wanted to show you it because, honestly, I cannot believe the difference that it has made to this coat. I feel like it's almost a brand new color. Like it's so much more vibrant in color. And I had so many just like little marks that they've been able to get out. I had a few makeup marks around the collar um, from where I'd been like sitting on it. I had some marks on like the back of it. And honestly, it's made such a huge difference. One thing that I did notice as well though when I was going to the dry cleaners, which is obviously something that they cannot fix. Because my Burberry is a vintage one, the buckles are really starting to go. You can kind of see it there and on the belt buckle which is quite sad but I feel like that's just inevitable when you buy a Burberry trench um but I just wanted to show you it because I just got back and it kind of just reminded me how important it is to look after your items in your wardrobe and I was about to say your expensive items not even just your expensive items all of the items in your wardrobe whether you've spent a lot of money or not a lot of money on something I feel like just taking care of your items makes such a big difference to how your wardrobe looks the silk shirts for example I would definitely recommend each time that you wear them to steam them they're the kind of thing that I wouldn't wash all too often because satin and kind of silk fabrics don't wash all that well so I would say try not to wash it too much but after each wear just give it a little steam and it would just kind of revitalize it give it a new lease of life help it look a little bit fresher and just make it look a lot 
better for longer so so glad that i did this because honestly i feel like it needed it it really really needed it and i think i might have a little go through my wardrobe and see if there's any other things i could probably do with taking to the dry cleaners any other like jackets or coats that maybe need a little bit of a new lease of life a little bit of a dry clean a little bit of a freshen up because it really does make them look so much better and will make your clothes last a lot longer in your wardrobe so especially with like the me and m blazer obviously you can't wash them yourself so i would definitely recommend taking your jackets your blazers all of that jazz to the dry cleaner so i'm so glad to have this back in my wardrobe honestly it was gone for like a week and a half and i don't know what to do about it <laughs> as you may be able to tell it is quite a while later now i feel like i have lost pretty much the entirety of the makeup from my face and i am absolutely shattered it's actually only 20 past five but i am going to be taking off my makeup and doing my kind of like first set of um like skincare routine this is basically what i do at the end of the working day i get my makeup off so that i can have an evening free of makeup let my skincare kind of soak in a little bit and then just before i go to bed i do my other set as well i am just in a robe now because i was doing lots of like try and clips i feel like this afternoon has just gone like that i've been doing a few more reels some like projects that i'm working on and a lot of it involved lots of try on and i just didn't want to put my jumper dress back on i was like i may as well just get into my robe now get into my jammies and get super super comfy so i thought i would take you through my first skincare routine at the moment let me know if you want me to do like a full rundown because um i do feel like it is helping at the moment and you will probably be able to see a big difference in terms of my skin um i'm just getting my jewelry off i must say one thing i really don't like is um at the end of the day i'm so used to taking my jewelry off obviously i want to take my apple watch off but then when i take it off it means it can't remind me to stand up or it doesn't track my biometrics or anything anymore um also speaking of jewelry don't forget i still have my discount code monica vinilla i'm not entirely sure how much longer it's active for so if you do want to get 20 percent off monica vinilla jewelry i'll leave the link down below definitely make the most of that because it's just such an amazing saving to really take advantage of right into the bathroom let's get the makeup off now i do apologize for the number one super unflattering lighting the down lighting in this bathroom is not a vibe number two the fan <laughs> i unfortunately can't can't stop the fan but i've just got my hair in a little low pony i always use the silk scrunchies as well whenever i tie my hair up just because i want to protect my hair as much as possible and i'm just going to get my makeup off now i'm currently using the lizelle cleanse and polish which i really really like i might actually do a bit of an exfoliation today as well so i think i might use the gentle face exfoliator just to really get in there now although i like the cleanse and polish i personally prefer to use a flannel just because i find that it also kind of helps with a slight bit of exfoliation on your face and i just feel like it gets in a little bit deeper um in terms of like taking my makeup off um, I'm just going to basically double cleanse with the cleanser polish. Right, now that my face is nice and doubly cleansed, I'm going to go in with the exfoliator. Now the facialist told me to really focus around this area. I kind of focus here and like around my chin to help with my last remains of breakouts, but it's definitely looking a lot better. I'll show you a bit better when we've got better lighting in the other room because I feel like what is going on here. Okay, apparently that's just one to stick up. Um, so just a little bit of this, and it just almost looks like cleanser, but it's just got the tiniest little particles in that really help with a bit of exfoliation. You guys know how red my skin goes with any kind of like friction to it. So I officially look like I've got a red mask here. <laughs> right, now that that's done, go and do our skincare i don't keep my skincare in my bathroom i much prefer to do it in the other room i don't know why i think it's mainly because i just don't really have any storage in here um but now i'm feeling nice and fresh without feeling stripped that's what i really like about the cleanser polish i feel really clean but not stripped we are starting to lose the light quite quickly now so i've just put the main light on i hope that's okay but as i was saying honestly the difference in my skin from literally two weeks ago to now is unrecognizable i feel like all of the scarring is starting to go i only just have like a few scars now left on my chin and especially around my kind of nose and cheek area feels really really nice this is my second exfoliation i've done since the facial i really am going to be trying to do it once a week at the moment so in terms of skincare this is my like as i said my evening skincare i'm currently using the ahc essential real eye cream for face now i'm not gonna lie when i first started using this 
I didn't like it mainly because it says on it concentrated eye cream for the whole face and I didn't really like the sound of it I was like well if I want eye cream I want eye cream um and I still stand by that I don't really like that it says that it's for the whole face but I do really like it as eye cream so I just put a little bit on my finger and I'm always have you ever seen that meme where it's like me really carefully adding eye cream on and then me rubbing my eyes like two hours later I always like to try and apply it quite carefully just with my ring finger but I really like this because it's not heavy at all I think I've spoken about this a lot but with, when it comes to eye creams I cannot stand something that's really super like heavy and congested I feel like I wake up with puffy eyes so I like something really hydrating but lightweight and I feel like this is exactly that I'm then going to go in with the Aveen. This is the Radiant Serum. I absolutely love this. I use this morning and night. It is just so, so fabulous. When it comes to like retinoids and stuff, I am not using retinoids until like just before I go to bed because I feel like then it really has time to like soak in as I'm sleeping. Next, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Skin Hyla Boost. Absolutely love this serum. It's just so good i spoke about this in the vlog recently um i picked up another one of this i literally was out of like three days and i could not survive it's such an affordable skincare product oh my gosh it's so good i also try and rub that into my lips as well just to really help with the kind of like dryness of them at the moment i feel like with this winter they've been so dry and, and then the last item that i use it's really super simple for this one it's the murad hydration hydrodynamic ultimate moisture absolutely love this this is from my caroline hirons kit which i would definitely definitely recommend it's so so good and you only need a really small amount of this like it really doesn't need a lot but i feel like this is just a drink for my skin a voila that is my current evening skincare routine my first evening skincare routine let me know if you want me to do like a full rundown like an updated skincare beauty kind of video i could definitely do that for you guys and especially once i've tried out some of the new drunk elephant products and i can let you know what i think of them as well but i'm gonna leave you guys here i hope you enjoyed the video seeing some new pieces seeing what i've been buying if you haven't hit that subscribe button already make sure to hit it now and i will see you guys in my next video bye